Hey YouTubers, you've reached the Debunkify channel. This is yet another variation of uh, a power gain. Um, it's the same system as before, just powering an LED in normal load. Uh, except this time we are using uh, supercapacitors as a power source. Okay, and uh, so let me put this down. So basically, I use this to charge up the super capacitors, okay, and they're all in series. This is the positive, and then negative, and then positive, and then negative, and then positive, negative, and positive. So we're reading voltage across our super capacitor, which is a uh, 10.52 volts. Okay, um, so that's the power source voltage. I'm reading it right there on the negative of this meter. Positive, uh, right here. So, okay, now we're reading, we're measuring current right here, right off the positive side. Okay, it comes around like that right here and uh, through the meat through the meter okay and the negative will connect right there going into the uh, positive of our input okay something I want to stress here which is another perspective is that this power source is actually an output of energy and then going into as input in our device so let's turn this on and let's look at the current let's do that right now and we'll look at the voltage so let me put this down okay simply turn it on I guess it helps to uh, connect this. All right, so we got light. We got 8.43 amps at 10.25. So if we time this and start it right when it drops to 10 volts, okay? Let's do that. We'll just start right when it hits 10 volts. Three, two, one, now. All right. And let's just let's let this drain down to about oh nine point fifty volts at this rate right here. Okay. We'll let it drop all the way down, starting from ten volts down to nine and a half volts. We'll time how long that takes. All right, so let's get that down. Let's stop it right on. Boom. All right, about 41 seconds. Now, we we'll charge this back up. And this is going to take some time. So we're going to come back later and compare. Uh, we're going to compare that to uh, taking the output. We're not going to power the load anymore, but we're going to directly connect the output back to the uh, input right here. So I took 42 seconds to drop down from 10 volts. Uh, 9.50 volts. So let me charge that back up. All right, we're back. Um, so now we've charged our supercapacitors up to 10.83 volts, and 
Last time we had reached 41 seconds in order to drop uh, the voltage from 10 volts, starting at 10 volts down to 9.5 volts. So we're going to do that exact same thing again, except we're not going to be running a load, uh, an LED as a load, but we're going to just take the output and put it right directly back on the positive here. I guess we can take this wire and uh, connect the two negatives. And we're just going to send the output directly back to the input. So this is our output. Now it's going back to our power source right here. Alright, right here. Okay. So that's the negative side, that's the positive side. And everything's right here so you can see it and we're going to start right now and I also want you to take note of the current so here we go let's start actually starting too soon we're just going to drop that down to 10 volts and then we're going to start from right there and look at the amperage that's four amps coming off. Nothing's changed. Um, it's the positive, the meter, we're measuring the current at four amps is coming right off the positive side of our power source. Okay. At four amps. Um, right here. And it's already lasting longer. Trying to get to the point of 10 volts so we can start the timer. So the already you can see that the voltage is taking longer to drop, even though we're pulling oh what is that like four times the amount of current from the uh, power source. Let me uh, start this that so it doesn't shut off. So look at that, four amps. So it's on its way. We're going to start at exactly 10. There. Alright, let's see how long it takes to get our 10 volts down to 9.5 volts at 4 full amps as opposed to just the 800 or 0.800 amps that our LED pulled we saw that dropped the voltage from 10 volts down to nine and a half volts and look it's only 30 seconds it took 41 seconds to do that so this is all about time time okay now look there's the same time but it hasn't even dropped down to nine and a half volts yet so see so let's let's stop that right when it gets and look see let's stop that right about now look at that took almost one full minute to uh drop from 10 volts to nine and a half volts and it's still going so let me turn that off so you can see we were pulling way more current and had way more power from the power source okay um, in, a, in a longer amount of time this this is a time factor going on here so time is a very good way of measuring power if you have power flowing and way more of it for a longer amount of time then uh, you have a power gain in the system uh, if you're new to the channel please subscribe um, uh, please like and share comment uh, and we'll see you on the next video